Once again, welcome to ITSC 1345, Competency 2.1, uh, Chapter 1. Uh, chap chapter 1 talks about the tools, the software tools that are going to be used throughout this course to be able to promote all this process. Uh, <clears throat> Since uh, we're using the Brew Bean database throughout this textbook, uh, one of the things that I would like to mention is that um, every chapter has some work to be done. Now, the way this book works is there are scripts that support the work done in every chapter. So what you have to do is basically unzip these files that you need to use in the database within each chapter. Also, what this chapter talks about is the idea of using SQL, SQL Plus, and SQL Developer. Now, this is where it gets kind of confusing to many students because you have SQL, you have SQL Plus, and you have SQL Developer. Now, remember that it, it, you, have, you have the operating system, okay? And then in the operating system, you're gonna create a database. Within the database, you can use SQL to extract the information. And then you're gonna put the information in PL SQL, okay? Now, the way that these two communicate and the way these two communicate is SQL plus. Now SQL plus is that language that allows the mechanisms to communicate. So SQL plus is that interface communication mechanism that allows the operating system and the database to communicate. It also allows the database and SQL to communicate with each other because they're actually separate products and you need to be able to communicate with them. Now, this is when you have the command line. So when you do the command line using SQL Plus. Now, the problem with using the command line is that it's kind of a legacy issue, kind of archaic where you have to type all the lines and it does require a lot of key stroke entries. So what they have come, what they've introduced, come, what they've come up with is a GUI interface, and this GUI interface is really neat because uh, instead of having to do select from star to get the data out, you click on a button and it shows it. So what you do is by clicking a button, you're you're actuating code that's giving you the information. Instead of a type it out, it's a mouse click, and that's a very very nice tool. That tool is called SQL Developer. So what we're going to do is SQL Developer is the preferred tool. Now SQL Developer is something that Oracle came up with. Now there are other products on the market. There's a Toad, Tools for Oracle Application Developer, there's SQL Navigator, and there's other products that you can download free to use it. And each has positive and negatives, and depending on what you want to do and what you're familiar with, you can use that. Uh, now, getting back to SQL Developer, what, what you would do is, if you're working with Chapter 1, somewhere on there is going to say, use this information. And it'll reference the file or whatever. I have loaded all the information into Blackboard, and it's in two locations. Uh, so you can either do it from the menu menu on the left or you can use it in each of the chapters because it's loaded in each one. So there's two locations depending on what you want to do. And then that way you can work with it. So getting back to uh, what I said at the very beginning, different publishers, different authors have different methodologies to get the information across. Uh, this particular textbook uses a lot of hands-on. Uh, and a good example of that uh, will come uh, evident in chapter two when I start talking about that. But understanding that this is just the process where we introduce the tools that you're gonna use throughout the semester. The other thing is that 
Uh, databases work in two levels, tiers. You have the client and the server. So you have the data, and then you have the mechanism that's going to work to extract the data. So understand that we're looking at a, for the most part in this process, a two-tier mechanism where you have the data and uh, the process is going to extract the data. Um, there are many advantages to using uh, PL SQL, which is going to come uh, throughout the semester. But the biggest advantage is that you can extract information, hold it, and process it. And then we're going to look through all these mechanisms that allow us to do that. And that concludes competency 2.1.